Hey there everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you wanna stick around for a while, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything new. Today I'm finally finishing my laundry room with some Dollar Tree DIYs for some organization in there. So let's get started. So I needed a new hamper for my laundry room, so I'm going to create a rolling hamper from some Dollar Tree items. First I'm going to use this laundry basket that comes from Dollar Tree and some of this nautical rope. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the laundry basket in the nautical rope. I used about seven packs of the nautical rope to go almost all the way up the laundry basket. Then I'm going to use this non-woven laundry bag in the color black and I'm just going to line the inside of the basket with that and I'll pull the top edges around the top of the laundry basket. And you want to be careful with this because it is a thin fabric and it will tear if you pull too much. Um, but if you're gentle with it, it will be fine and you'll just pull it down to meet the nautical rope. Next, what I'm going to do is take a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. I just spray painted mine black. That's optional. And then I'm going to take these wheels that come from Home Depot and I'm going to use some E6000 and I'm just going to apply that to the tops of the wheels here and I'm also going to use a little bit of hot glue as well um, just because I want this to dry quickly and then I'm going to turn the pizza pan upside down and glue those wheels to the pizza pan. Now I'm just going to take my laundry basket and put some E6000 on the bottom of the basket and then also some hot glue and I'm going to glue that onto the top of the pizza pan. All right, and there you have it, a rolling laundry hamper. So I can just put my stuff in it and then I can just roll it to my washer and throw the stuff in my washer and then roll it uh, to the dryer and take the stuff out of the dryer. So I really love how this turned out. Next up, I needed some baskets for my open shelving that I created for my laundry room. And I am just using these Dollar Tree wire baskets. I used two of the smaller round ones and then one of the waste baskets. And since I don't want to see what's inside of them, I covered them with the nautical rope. Um, the waste basket, I used about four packs of the nautical rope to cover to the top. And then I just used another laundry bag and I placed a whole laundry bag inside the waste basket and then just hot glued the top of that to the top of the nautical rope. And then this one is going to be uh, good for like your tall cleaning supplies, um, like my stain removers and things like that. For the smaller baskets, I used one and a half things of nautical rope to cover the outside. And now I'm just taking one of the laundry bags again and cutting the top off and placing the bottom of the bag inside the basket. And then I just uh, took the top of the bag and cinched it in as I was um, hot gluing it to the top of the nautical rope. And then I just placed some extra cleaning cloths in there for storage. I also picked up two of these glass containers from Dollar Tree and I just placed clothespins in one of them and then some extra uh, pods in the other one. And then I placed all of these on my shelf and I just think it looks very nice and organized and clean now. Now I'm just going to use this over the door hanger that comes from Dollar Tree and it was originally white. I just spray painted mine black to match all of the rest of the hardware in my laundry room. And I'm going to use this just to hang all of my extra cleaning tools or supplies like my mop and my dusters back here. You could use this to hang your ironing board as well. Um, I think that this is just a good way to hide all of that because when the doors open you won't be able to see anything and it won't be out in the open. The last thing I wanted to create for my laundry room was a drying rack. So I'm going to use four of these metal plant hangers that come from Dollar Tree. You can find them in the spring section this time of year. And I just hung them on my wall with some screws and some wall anchors. And I hung two sets of them 16 inches apart each. 
Now I'm going to take these plungers that come from Dollar Tree. I need four of them. And I am just going to unscrew the plunger part because all I need are the four wood pieces. And then I went ahead and stained my four wood pieces with stain to match the rest of my laundry room. And then I just placed one of the sticks on the top part of the hanger and then another stick on the bottom part of the hanger. Then I did use some E6000 to put on each side of the bottom hanger so that way the sticks wouldn't roll around. I think this is going to be so useful in my laundry room. It's perfect for when I'm folding laundry, I can hang things up as I go. And then also if there's things that I don't want to shrink after I get them out of the washer, I can hang them up to dry. I love how this turned out. All right guys, I'm loving how my laundry room turned out with all these Dollar Tree DIYs. I hope you guys liked it too. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and supporting my channel and commenting. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye-bye.